Hello everyone, so today I just want to basically make a quick um, tutorial on how to add a form uh, from Framify, from a really good component library for Framer. Adding a form, connecting it to your Google Sheets uh, profile, syncing the form information to the Google Sheets profile, and then um, confirming that information by syncing it um, back to Framer. And then in Framer, you'll have a dashboard, right, where you will see the results basically in a in a nice design, let's say. So, for example, for this case, we're going to have an apply for job. That's going to be the, the form. So we're going to apply for a fake job. Um, once the person applies, they're going to have this application receive page. So thank you for applying. Go back to the home page. Um, and then uh, in the back end, I will go to Google Sheets, view the information, and then um, once confirmed, push it back to Framer. And then Framer, basically, we're going to have a, um, a view kind of, of, of the information, right? So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to the layers and I want to make sure that the contact form is highlighted. And I want to click here to send to. So before I actually do that, I want to show you where I got this. So basically, if we were to go to framify.design and we were to go to, uh, if we were to search for form, sorry, not form, but um, contact, um, we can choose one of our, our uh, these components. There's a bunch of other designs, but I chose this one. I really liked it. And um, it's really cool because we can edit the different inputs. We can, for example, desired location, Amsterdam, Barcelona, but we can add more and um, and it works really quickly. So that's just that. Uh, link to this, to this Framify is in the description, by the way. So for, first of all, we want to get this contact form. We want to um, click Add to Google Sheets. And um, I want to go to, to the Google Sheets. I want to basically add the information. So I want to add the the fallback to my Google Sheets. Um, actually, first we want to add a form um, from my Google Sheets. So you want to add the, uh, it's going to be called, uh, what should we call it? We should call it application receipt create. And then the, this is like my email that I'm using. Boom. So basically, once we publish this, and we go to this specific website, we can just put in some Lulu. And my email is re rely on you.com. Desired location, Amsterdam, of course, A subject, whatever. I am the man for the job period. And then submit. And then it takes me to this application receipts page, right? And you can here just put whatever you want. For the sake of this video, it's not so important, but you can just get some Framify components and add, it, add some nice design, right? Uh, then we go to Google Sheets and we see that it's already synced and we can see a very nice, um, you know, it has the, the time, the date and time, the location of the person that, that, uh, that his desired location, subject, the message, the name, and the email, right? So that that part was very easy. Um, and it's really cool that we can actually bring this to, to Google Sheets. So that's one thing. Now our next goal is to basically get this information and sync it back to uh, to our Framer website. So let's say like five different people apply, right? If I were to, for example, go back, refresh, and write, um, you, you and write you, you at lemon.com and Barcelona and say, I, I don't know. I don't know. You suck, right? You don't want to have them in your, in your uh, dashboard, right? Because they were kind of mean. So, uh, um, okay. Let's first of all, let's, uh, import this to framer. So we want to go to our plugins and we want to search for the Google sheets plugin. And we want to call this uh, applications plugin, applications. Right? So we cr cr click, click, uh, click create, 
and um, we copy the URL of this specific um, sheet and we choose sheet one because that is it is sheet one as you see here and next and then you want to import sheet one right so um, we have this sheet but we don't like this we can either delete it directly from here and we can sync the information and then it syncs right so we have lulu but you use not there and we can just you know refresh and uh, or, or go back and refresh and then it's there again so that's the the cool part of syncing um let me delete this because we're not using it now but that's the cool part of the google sheets uh, uh plugin right it, you can bring it from google sheets back to framer and what's cool is that we can create a dashboard right so if we were to just for example go to collections right over here applications we can bring our applications here and we can style our applications so if we were to make the width of our page fit the content as we always do and we want this when our applications to be in a stack and our stack we want to have the viewport as the height right um, let's make this for example fill width and then we can edit the content so we can add the date that they applied the their name and their position for example right now so let's put their name should let's put their name like this name position and then we can obviously go like this and we can make this like this so we have two applications right now so we want to um, replace this date we want to remove this and we want to add the content set variable to this is the name so their name lulu and yuyu position we want to remove this and set variable to variable to um what was it it was message name subject no not the subject my bad it was yeah whatever we can just use the subject for now and then for example date we can remove that and we can put the the message for example here message and this for example can be a protected page where you can sell to um, companies as a job platform where you can create a custom login not custom login a custom form it goes to google sheets and then that uh, kind of links to your cms and um the job uh, or, the, or the person from the business that's looking for employers can refresh and can see a dashboard of applicants and respond like that, right? So it's it's the begin beginning of something interesting. So we can delete this. We can set the variable to message. And as you can see, this is like kind of, we have to put the width to fill. Well, we can do it like that. And obviously the, the styling kind of sucks, but you can, you know, with a little bit of design knowledge, you can create a um, bit of padding on the side. You can add a border. Uh, you can add a radius to the border. You can create it to the, you can add it to the left side. So start. And for example, you can, since this, since we can use something like, like, uh, um, Frameify, we can go to our Frameify and we can go to uh, to our components and we can go to like features. What else do they got? They got, let's, let's take a little bit of a browse, right? They got the career, right? We can make something like this, you see? So we can copy this to the clipboard. We can bring it back to Framer and we can paste it here. Obviously above this section, and we want to make this fill, and we want to just detach. Let me do that. Let's, oh yeah, let's double click. I'll make and replace all, and then we want to make one of these cards. Um, basically, the the design of this of the information that is being put in. So let's detach this, and let's bring one of these cards here to this stack and let's bring it 
here. So we have this in here. Let's remove this border and the and the radius and the padding for now. Let's remove this padding. And now we can basically get the information from here and set the variable to the name, set this variable to the contents of the message, and then we can set this, for example, we can put this as the content of the location, and this can be the subject, for example, uh, subject, and this can be their email, right? Because we want the, the person to view this dashboard to have a good um, understanding, right? Of a good overview, I mean. So we can delete this, uh, we can keep this container, we can delete We can delete these cards, we can delete this thing, and we can put this stack kind of in the same place. And voila, we have our um, applied candidates. Um, and we can make this um, fit content somehow. And we can already, you know, decorate it with with uh, somehow the nav bar and a footer. We can just go back to here and get a cool nav bar. We don't really need it. This is just for the sake of it, right? So basically, this is it. It's it's home. This is for the for the public for the users. You um, have this in, in your client's website as an application form. This application form goes to Google Sheets, where it goes to directly to this synced sheet right here. Um, you can edit the file as you wish. And then once that's synced, you can manually sync it in here, where you will have a dashboard of the list of the applicants. So it's basically a fancy um, Google Sheet in Framer. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this short little tutorial. Um, I, look at all the different possibilities that there are here. Even with this, for example, we can um, use dynamic C CMS from Google Sheets uh, to populate certain areas of, of, of these designs. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Framer is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any requests of future videos of me of, of what I can build, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to uh, to, to do these videos. So um, without further ado, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, yeah.